Yeah, I'm Alex Sapon, uh, Chief Financial Officer, ECG Church. I joined the church in 2015, but formally appointed as a general manager in 2016, uh, in charge of the finances of the church. In view of um, my working condition, there was this G12, who were appointed more or less like the board of directors of the church. And in view of the, the setup of how they were interfering with my uh, duties on a daily basis, and I had a terrible fallout with them. And really, I took my anger on the wrong person, that is, um, to the prophet and the wife. Um, my anger should have been directed to the G2. But since it was the prophet who engaged me from day one, that is why I have to vent my anger on him. Otherwise, all the stories, whatever went wrong, I do apologize to the prophet. So when I resigned, I requested compensation of this, the salaries. There was no response. Uh, I sent a lot of messages, a lot of apologies also to the prophet and the, um, and the prophetess with the hope that at least um, they will be able to take my apology into consideration and whatever is due for me will be paid. Um, nothing. And really I went to court. I also went to CCMA. Then during that period, I had an interview with a lady called Kanya from Sunday Times. And that time I was really upset. I was very cross. I was not in myself because um, to me, the services that I rendered to the church compared to the treatment that was meted to me it was too much for me. So he had an interview with me, and out of annoyance, most things that I said, they were not right, they were not correct. There's no truth in whatever I said. And as I've already mentioned, I cannot substantiate or any figure you may have gone to the court of law to prove all this money, I cannot prove. It is nothing like that. He's a great man, and I'm back with him, and my loyalty and dedication is with him. The editor asked me something that the, there was a time the minister of, uh, wanted to arrest the prophet and, and um, the arrest did not come on. And, uh, he asked me why, why the prophet was not arrested. I said, no, there was a rumor. And I also heard that there was a rumor that the, they said uh, uh, the prophet has given uh, uh, the president four million. With that one, I don't know. I can't substantiate. And there's nothing to back up that one also. So there's no truth on that allegation. But once again, it was out of anger on the situation that I was going through at that time. All those things that were said were said out of annoyance and anger, because really that time I was very, very angry. Um, so the figures I even gave, I cannot substantiate those figures. Even if I've called upon at the court of law to prove, I will not be able to prove anything. It just came out of my mind just to see something, just to try to also to spite um, the prophet, which as I'm talking today is really regrettable. But at that time and at that circumstances, I had no choice but to see things that are not right, that is not correct, that I cannot prove uh, in, in court of law. So I'm telling the whole world that that interview that went round is false and I'm retracting whatever I said in those uh, interviews. And nobody should uh, um, 
take it as serious because I cannot prove anything that was said during that time. And I'm also appealing to the whole world to know that I'm back with the prophet. He's a real true man of God. He has done a lot for me and he's still doing a lot for me. And I would defend him in any place with whatever resources and whatever might I have. He's a true man of God. I've been with him. I go with him to his bedroom. We talk, and I know the type of person he is. Whatever information that is going around about him, I'm saying today, they are all false information. He's a great man, and I support him, and I'll defend him wherever he goes.